is why Why are we here To say our hellos and goodbyes And disappear This beautiful life What is it for To learn how to master peace Or master war There's only one Answer that matters Even if your heart Has been shattered Whatever you want Whatever you are after No, we're not perfect yet Maybe God made us all from an accident And the question that sits on everyone's lips Is why should we pick ourselves up and start over again?
going to sing for this dude who's looking at the ocean right now. I tried to call those girls over to see if I could sing for them and their mom, but they ran away from me, so never mind. Cool. Oh, yo. Hey, man. I just wonder if I could sing for you, if, if that'd be okay. It'd be my pleasure to have you sing for me. Okay, cool. Oh, yo. All right. All right, here it goes. I broke my wrist Where I thought I could fly Thinking I was Superman So you know you can't cry Because I wanted to be just like them And save my city from crime I wanted to be just like them Just like them Just like them Campbell's chicken noodle soup When you stay home from school Remember watching MTV when there was still music for you Just a kid on Choy Street From my city built in the sand My father said you'll be a man Be a man, be a man And I, I was born in 1994 And I, I was born in 1994 And I, I was Santa Claus is just not real. Batman can't fly. Nobody's invincible. Because I know people die. I saw it on the news one day. When the towers fell down. September's not the same place now. Same place now. Same place now. Now tell me what you want to be. Because you grow up too fast. I'll cut my hair and sag my jeans. Never show up to class Be ready cause it's time to leave So pack up your bags And go be who you wanna be Wanna be, wanna be Thank you. <laughs> that was super cool. Thanks, Thank man. What is, what is your name? Gregory. Gregory. Yeah. Thanks for letting me sing for you, Gregory. Yeah, it was my pleasure, I appreciate man. it. All right. Awesome. So cool. Thanks. Cool. All right. Awesome. Cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow. That was fun. Yeah. Sweet.
let the light in the darkest place let the sunshine paint those away nothing is permanent for me yeah flowers they bloom and fade away the beauty it happened inside of me even if it's a memory yeah the rain it falls rain it falls it's pouring on me the rain it falls rain it falls sowing the seeds of love and hope love and hope everybody. Welcome to the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of York. My name is Reverend Terry Cummings and I'm pleased to be the minister here at this congregation. I'm joined this morning by Matt Shinneman, our very talented director of Lifespan Faith Development, who's going to join me up at the podium right now. <laughs> He's here by invited. Um, today we step aside from all the stuff that's going on in the world, the things that are preoccupying us, the COVID pandemic and the, the horrible denial of white supremacy by so many people uh, as people of color rise up and make their voices heard against oppression. All those things that are going on, we hold in our hearts, but this morning we, we step aside from that just a little bit. We, uh, we have only one life to live and only one planet to live on and we need to make the best of it as we can while we're here and so we take time this morning to celebrate a ritual and celebrate the lives of two young people who are going from youth to adulthood in our well-known and, and well-beloved bridging ceremony our bridging ritual life is full of so many rituals from our morning cup of tea or coffee to the time of prayer we spend during the day. Ritual is a very, very important part of our lives. But the bridging ceremony is more than just a, a, a ritual for us to follow. You see, bridging is something that we are all involved in. It is part of the journey of two young people, as I said, from, from youth and high school on into their adult lives. And that's something that we as part of the Unitarian community, share with them to follow them on their journey, to lift them up and be there with them as they move forward. And so our, our ceremony this morning is more than that. It's a commitment that we make to them to be with these fabulous two young people. I haven't had a lot of time to spend with Cat Pauling or Evie Loomis, our two celebrants today, but I have spent some time with them in meetings and they have touched me with their grace 
their gentleness of spirit, their curiosity, and, and they've, they've made me think of that line in our favorite hymn, Blue Boat Home, how these two cast questions into the deep like so many of us, and they will continue to do so alongside us. So I'm very grateful with, from, to Matt and them for designing this service today, and I hope that uh, you will be enjoying it with us, watching us, us at home, and sharing your own memories of your own bridging way back when, those of you who are grown-ups. And with that, I'm going to turn our service today over to our beloved DLFD, Matt Chinnaman. Thank you, Terry. Good morning, everyone. As Terry just mentioned, uh, my name is Matthew Shinneman. If you don't know me, I am the Director of Lifespan Faith Development here at UUCY. Um, Terry and I and everyone here in the, in the sanctuary, we welcome you this Sunday morning to celebrate an important rite of passage um, in the life of two of our senior youth members. So welcome to those bridgers who are standing at the precipice. Welcome to the youth who might be looking ahead to their own bridging. Welcome to the young adults who remember what this transition was like. And welcome to our community, our friends and family who have journeyed alongside our bridgers. This morning is an exciting time for our bridgers, but it can also be an overwhelming one. So we honor and bear witness to that duality. Sometimes, as we know, life is heavy. But this morning is about lifting our bridgers up and showering them with love. The music that we have already shared and will be sharing throughout the, the service um, has been chosen specifically by our two bridgers in consultation with our music director, Gretchen Decker. We're also fortunate to have two hymns that were recorded by Gretchen and myself and Robert here in the sanctuary, as well as a musical interlude that was recorded by Gretchen and Lydia Paulos. Our mission here at UUCY is that we are a religious community that inspires the mind and spirit, that honors religious freedom and embraces diversity. Our members, all of you, we minister to each other with love and work for a just society. So in keeping with our Unitarian Universalist tradition, we begin this morning by lighting the chalice, the symbol of our faith. And we invite you to light a chalice or a candle at home as well. As Terry lights the chalice this morning, the words were written by Reverend Chip Rausch. Deeper than DNA, more fundamental than molecules or quarks, at our living core, we are wholeness, and transfiguring love. We often forget that power, become lonely or resentful, comparing ourselves to others, acting out of our fears rather than living our glory. Occasionally, we rouse from this trance to remember our wholeness. For a time, we embody unsentimental love. We make efforts to wake others and to remain fully present ourselves. Our lives and our time here together are made sacred by our striving. For the next 70 minutes and for the rest of our lives, may we be more aware of the spirit of life evolving through and among us. So may we be. Now, I invite you all to join as we share our opening hymn, done both in Spanish and English, number 123, Fuente de Amor, Spirit of Life. Ven, 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 
ven a mí, ven a mí. Spirit of life, come unto me. Sing in my heart all the stirs of compassion. At some point, children grow up. At, at some point, they make the journey from adolescent to young adult. They seek more independence and more responsibility, and they take time to explore new challenges and do some deep soul searching. Many religious traditions have rites of passage which honor this transformation. In Unitarian Universalism, as Terry has already told you about, we celebrate this momentous occasion with a rite of passage called bridging. Now, we use this term to refer to the intentional process of connecting one side of, our, of a youth's journey, the childhood of their past, to the other side of their journey, the adulthood of their future. Today, we honor two senior youth of our congregation, Evie Loomis and Kat Pauling. Evie and Kat, we have shared in your journey up until this point as guides, as mentors. But today, you walk across the bridge to join us as peers. We encourage you on this journey, applauding all you have been all you are now, and all that you will be. So to start us off, let us take a moment to hear a few reflections from our two bridgers on their journeys thus far and what the world has in store for them as they bridge into young adulthood. You will hear from Evie Loomis, followed by a song of her choice, and then Kat Pauling, followed by a song of her choice, and I encourage you to listen not only to appreciate their worth and dignity, but also to be changed by their vulnerability. For the past 18 years, I have belonged to the Unitarian Universalist faith. This has shaped a huge part of my identity, not only the faith, but the people in the congregation. All of you here have been with me on my journey from the little girl going to Sunday school classes to the young adult standing here today. I would like to thank all of you for being there for me through all the twists and turns of life. After being here for so long, I now know that no matter where I go, I will always have a home in all of you. I will always have a place that I can go and know there are so many people that share my same values and beliefs. Some people I would especially like to thank are Reverend Terry, Robert Felton, Jake Miller, Travis Logston, Zach Davies, and Matthew Shineman. Reverend Terry, you have taken it upon yourself to make sure the youth have a voice in this congregation. You have truly made me feel a part of worship committee and the congregation as a whole. I have never felt more welcome in this congregation until you stepped in as the minister. Robert. You have been there as my mentor for the, so many things in the past year. You've stepped up to 
helped me learn all the ins and outs of the worship committee and have always been there to make sure I knew which direction I wanted to go. Jake, you were there for me, Kat, and Cass as we were navigating our way through young adulthood. You made sure we never left youth group with any unanswered questions. You were always there to give us a comfortable, safe space to ask questions about religion, spirituality, politics, and even the adult world. You made youth group a space for self-discovery, and you will never know how much I truly appreciated that. Travis and Zach, even though I did not get to spend a lot of time with you guys in charge of youth group, you definitely made a big impact in my life. You made the discussions in youth group beyond thoughtful and you brought so many new subjects to the table. Matt, you have been there so much for me in the past two years. You have challenged my beliefs and made me think of what I really want in life. You have given me every opportunity to reach for what I want and given me the motivation to get to it. You have given the youth the confidence to ask for what they have wanted from the congregation. You have given us the push to make Unitarian Universalism a faith that we see ourselves in. I will never forget all the courage you have given me in the short time that I have known you. This congregation means so much to me, and it fills my heart knowing that you have all gathered here today to celebrate me and Kat's bridging to the adult world. So I'm going to end this with a quote from one of my favorite authors, John Green. You can love someone so much, but you can never love people as much as you can miss them. I love you all so much, and I will miss you all so deeply when I leave here, but you have all made sure that I will never be alone no matter where I go. For the tallest sail For all the love he left below In the waves He made his peace with letting go he Said some things he never dared to say The one the lighthouse left alone he Never saved Till the set of eyes and pinned The Cambridge version of a king Now I know they'll never haunt me When she's singing to me close She's singing to me, glory. 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 Think about you, you know. She's singing to me, glory. They found a letter that he wrote. He said it's best off if we burn the page. Very long ago, in different days. I guess I'm tired of talk of hope. I've learned that dogs and ravens fly the same. But suddenly she's all I know an old refrain. A set of eyes and pinned on the Cambridge version of a king. Now I know they'll never haunt me when she's singing to me. Glory. She's singing to me, glory. She's singing to me, glory. She's singing to me, glory. Think about you, you know. She's singing to me, glory. The Cambridge version of a kingdom. She's everything the devil can't be. When she's singing to me, glory. A set of eyes are pinned on. The Cambridge version of a kingdom. She's everything the devil can't be. When she's singing to me, glory.
I grew up in this church. I consider it a home. Every room in that building has memories attached to it, from goofing around with the other kids in Sunday school to helping to teach the kids in Sunday school and in Peacemakers. But a building isn't a home without the people who belong in it, the people who make it a safe and supporting place for children to grow up in. From my teachers who give me life advice when I don't have even a direction or I'm too scared to look at different paths ahead of me, to the people who take the time to get to know me, talk to me, and just say hello during coffee hour. I appreciate and value it all. I learned so many values growing up in this church. Compassion, understanding, and an appreciation for everyone's journey. And so many of these lessons form bricks for the foundation that I now stand on. And I have met some of my best friends that I have ever had through this church. And I hope that they continue to have paths that lead them to happiness. If you had asked me a few years ago what I considered myself to be, I would have said a UU atheist. I think the reason I felt I was an atheist at the time was because I had never felt a spiritual connection with anything particularly religious. Going to Goldmine allowed me to connect in a way I didn't know was possible. I certainly had never felt it before. That showed me a side to church that I didn't even know existed. I saw what church could be, and I want to help our church embrace what our full potential. And this all led me to YMR, peer chaplain training, and even speaking at closing ceremonies of General Assembly. Well, I say speaking, but I did write the chalice lighting, so there's that. And through all of these experiences, I determined that I connected much more to the UU faith rather than a particular church. To the youth, don't forget to have fun. School and sports can get in the way of just going out and living life. Sometime, sometimes, so don't forget to make the time to just go out and enjoy being a teenager. And I hope that in making my own path outside of this church, it will help to inspire you to go out and live your life how you want it to be. Because for me, going to Goldmine was something amazing and personally fulfilling, and I wish you all the best in finding your own amazing and personally fulfilling things. And to all the children in the church, you are never too young to be kind and to help take care of the world around you. I know that you can help change lives, even if it is just one painted rock at a time. I hope that although I am no longer in youth group, that I have helped to improve it in one way or another. And if anyone ever wants some help with worship planning, just hit me up. Got some good notes. I am no longer the child who couldn't cross the monkey bars. I'm actually tall enough to reach them now, even though I'm still short. I can reach them though. <laughs> the moral is that I have grown, and although my bones are done growing, I don't plan to stop my personal growth anytime soon ever. I'm not part of the youth anymore, and I certainly don't have the experience to consider myself an adult, but I know that there is room for me here. And with my changing role from child to youth to young adult, I hope that I can be viewed as someone who can be depended on. That being said, I don't just want to be dependable, I want to help lead. On, and the shoes untied with the chip on His shoulders sad from what he tripped on The last time he's Buzz Lightyear With no hyper drive, he's like Mike here With no Nike flight and he'll fall down With his shoes untied and he'll trip on To the finish line and I'll try to write this song If he gets there And I want to write this song to be the one who is on the podium Take a photo for my mom And show her that I've made it I'd like to be the one who could write the perfect song Just to show you that I've won But I'll have to tie my laces If I'm gonna make it In that moment 
moment When they hit the lights it looked golden But it didn't feel right, he was frozen With the worst frostbite was he chosen Like an Israelite picks a quotient That you can't divide like two oceans Stranded on the other side, his devotions On the other side, his emotions On the other side, and I'll try to write this song If he gets there I want to write this song I'd like to be the one who is on the podium Take a photo from my mom And show her that I played it I'd like to be the one who could write the perfect song Just to show you that I've won But I'll have to tie my laces Just a young boy at the starting line, 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 line. I'd like to be the one who is on the podium. Take a photo from my mom and show her that I made it. I'd like to be the one who could write the perfect song just to show you that I've won. But I'll have to tie my laces. Starting line. Katrina, you have been amazing to raise. You are a delightful human being, and to me, being a good human being is about the best compliment that you can give someone. You're kind, you're compassionate, you're caring. You exemplify Unitarian Universalist values. You believe in freedom, compassion, kindness. You believe in free search for meaning. And it was hard for me when you rejected the idea of a God when you were much younger and when we started attending the UU church. But what is amazing to me is that it hasn't changed how you treat people and how you feel people should be treated and you are very morally driven you have an internal set of beliefs that never leaves you that that you have taken with you in every interaction you've been in and in every group of people you've met I can't even begin to tell you how proud we are of you of the accomplishments and the things that you've overcome not every child and god I'm, I'm so happy every child doesn't have to go through all of the things that you've had to go through but not every child is, is faced with you know learning disabilities and physical um, issues and and health issues that you've faced and yet you've you've always just pushed through it you know, it didn't matter what it was that you were facing, you just faced it head on and you went, okay, well, if this is what I have to do, then this is what I have to do. You know, if I want to skate, then I need to do three hours of physical therapy a week and that's just what I'm going to do. And then you did it, you know. Um, when it came to schoolwork, when things were super easy for others and you were being forced to miss recess because your teachers were erasing your work and making you redo it. Um, you know, you just pushed through it. You never gave up. You never surrendered. You never just became that student who went, you know, it doesn't matter what I do. I'm just never going to be good enough. You pushed past what everyone's expectations were for you. You know, the school had very low expectations. And I always had very high expectations. And, and I think you were somewhere in the middle of that. And uh, you proved everybody wrong. Um, Sorry for the noise, I'm outside. Uh, but we are so proud of you, and we cannot wait to see what you do with your life next. And we can't wait to see where your journey is going to take you. And we are so privileged to have been your parents and to continue being your parents and to support you and guide you as needed. 
but you're almost grown and I think you'll need us in the future more than you think that you will but it's nice to see you being independent and and so soon you're going to be able to take care of yourself and we love you so much and, and thank you good morning I would like to thank everyone for coming today to celebrate Evie and Kat. I cannot say enough about the wonderful experiences Evie has had at UUCY, and I really believe it has helped shape the wonderful human being she is today, and will continue to help her grow in many ways throughout her life. As my thanks, please enjoy this little video I made for you. Like me, some of the dollar bills and five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, and even some of the twenty dollar bills in your wallets or pocketbooks have started to get restless lately as they, as they too have been watching the news on CNN or MSNBC or Fox and starting to feel like they need to get out in the world and make their contribution to bringing peace and justice to our country. And so now is the time in our service when you get the chance to set those restless dollar bills free and let them contribute to the work of this, contribu this church and make a contribution. To, now is the time when we ask and for and gratefully receive our Sunday morning offering. Our offering not only helps to support the work of the congregation, it helps to support our current share, the plate partner, White Rose Outreach. Information on how to give online virtually, as this is a virtual service, was included in the announcement that was sent out to you on Friday. And we hope that you will give as generously as you can because the work of the church and our partner is so important and so necessary in our, in our society and in our community. And so at this time, I'm just gonna pause for a few seconds if you would like to go online, make that donation or 
start connecting and make the donation as our service continues. And we give thanks to the many blessings we have each received in our lives. We acknowledge the generosity of spirit expressed in the gifts that you have shared with us today. And as we do every Sunday, we promise, really promise, to do our very, very best to use your gifts wisely and well. Thank you. We shall be known by the company we keep, by the ones who circle around to tend these fires. We shall be known by the ones who sow and reap the seeds to change the light from deep within the earth. It is time now. It is time now that we thrive. It is time we lead ourselves into the well. It is time now, and what a time to be alive in this great turning. We shall learn to lead in love. In this great turning, we shall learn to lead in love. We shall be known by the company we keep, by the ones who circle around to tend these fires. We shall be known by the ones who sow and reap the seeds of change the light from deep within the earth. It is time now, it is time now that we thrive. into the well. It is time now, and what a time to be alive in this great turning. We shall learn to lead in love. In this great turning, we shall learn to lead in love. We shall be known by the company we keep. By the ones who circle around to tend these fires. We shall be known by the ones who sow and reap the seeds of change alive from deep within the earth. It is time now, it is time now that we thrive. It is time we lead ourselves into the way.
Have you ever seen the movie uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade? There is this really awesome scene at the end, and at the risk of ruining the movie for some of you, I really want to tell you about it. So Indiana Jones comes to the edge of a very steep cliff, and he's standing in this place called the Lion's Head. And his father has been shot by the Nazis, and Indy is trying to retrieve the Holy Grail in order to use its power to heal his father. But there's one problem. The, the Grail is on the other side of that very steep cliff. And the only clue that Indy has is an ancient text that says, only in the leap from the lion's head will he prove his worth. And as he looks back at his father, who happens to be a Holy Grail scholar, his father says to him, You must believe, boy. I contemplated using a Scottish accent to, to do Sean Connery, but I, I wasn't going to make a fool of myself. So just imagine Sean Connery in his Scottish accent <laughs> saying, You must believe. And as the seconds agonizingly tick away, it finally dawns on Indy. He's being called to take a leap of faith. So he takes a breath, and he lifts his foot up, and then steps out into the void. And miraculously, a pathway, a nearly invisible bridge, appears to support him. Today, Evie and Kat stand at such a cliff. And while it may be hard to see, there is a bridge to support them. As it's been said, every journey begins by taking that first difficult step. The journey into adulthood is undoubtedly an arduous one. There are no clear boundaries, no clear directions. At best, you have a cryptic cryptic ancient text like Indy did that you have to decipher. So can Nevi, or anyone else who happens to find themselves at the edge of a cliff, let me offer you three bits of advice as you start off, and I will try to not be as cryptic as that ancient text. The first thing is that you need to know is that as you stand at the edge of this cliff, at the edge of childhood and youth, face up towards your future, you don't need any special key or pass. You have the right of passage simply for being you. You stand at a vulnerable time where you take your first steps towards true independence. Claim that independence by asserting it. The second thing that you need to know is that just because you're standing on the edge doesn't mean that you need to take that first step right away. As you stand at the edge, remember that thresholds are sacred spaces. As you stand at the edge, remember that it is a time for reflection on where you have been, and where you're going. You're not who you once were, and you likely won't be who you are right now when you have crossed that bridge. As you have already covered 18 years on your journey, you've likely accumulated many values and pearls of wisdom, items that seemed important at one point in your life, whether you were five or 13 or even perhaps a week ago. So you packed those little nuggets into your luggage and you've brought them with you to where you are now. But the bridge before you is narrow. You can't take everything with you. It's even likely that some of the things that you've brought to this point will be lost over the bridge as you bravely cross it. So in this sacred space, this threshold, take a moment honor 
that which has been lost along the way, and that which you can no longer bring with you. Grieve for those things. Your past will always whisper to you, and your future will always beckon you forward. But please, take a moment, standing at the edge, to be still in this split-second time known as the present. What are you letting go of? What are you holding on to? The third thing is to know that while many young adults will choose to go it alone, you are never truly alone. The burning flame of the chalice, the symbol of this faith, is there to help guide you forward, burning with the light of truth and the fire of commitment. Use it to illuminate everything you encounter along your journey. And you will also always have us, this beloved community. As horrible as this pandemic has been, what we've learned is that we don't need to be in the same place to gather. We don't need to be physically present to stay connected. These webs and wires and the voodoo magic of the internet are a bridge between us. It is a bridge that can span even the longest of distances. So every time we stand at an edge, we're given a choice. We can shrink and retreat, or we can advance and transform. Choose transformation. Stand at the edge with your face up, knowing that it's okay to grieve what you leave behind. It's okay to get excited about the unexpected blessings that your future holds. And it's even okay to hold these two emotions at the same time. It's okay to not know which items you are ready to let go of. Hold on to them as you cross the bridge. Perhaps they'll come in handy on your journey. Or perhaps you'll realize that you have transformed beyond your need for them. Know that you have a bright light from our shared chalice that is small but mighty, and it will lead you forward. And as Indy's father said to him, I say to you, you must believe. When you are ready, take the leap. I now invite you all to share in our closing hymn a beloved hymn of youth across the UU world. Number 1064 in the teal hymnal, Blue Boat Home. The words will appear on your screen. Thank 
Thanks to the waves upholding me, hail the great winds urging me on. Greet the infinite sea before me, sing the sky my sailor's song. I was born upon the fathoms, never harbor or port have I known. The wide universe is the ocean I travel, and the earth is my blue boat home. When we leave here this morning, we will never be able to return to this moment in time. We're walking towards a new future. So Evie, Kat, here is my blessing and my charge to you both. As you step forward into the next chapter of your life, may your minds be ablaze with curiosity May your hearts be engulfed by passion, and may your hands be ignited with purpose. May you continue to grow on your journey, be patient and hopeful, knowing that we will always be here to support and encourage you. I send you out now to share yourself with the world. I charge you to hold fast to what you have learned, to continue questioning, and to be sure that you share with us and the world all that you've learned along the way. We now extinguish our chalice. I know many of you light candles at home, and I invite you now as we do extinguish our chalice to share these words which hopefully are familiar to you. We extinguish this flame but not the light of truth, the warmth of community or the fire of commitment. These we carry in our hearts until we are together again and we will be together again soon. I leave you this morning with the words of Eric Williams. Blessed is the path on which you travel. Blessed is the body that carries you upon it. Blessed is your heart that has heard the call. Blessed is your mind that discerns the way. Blessed is the gift that you will receive by going. Truly blessed is the gift that you will become on the journey. May you go forth in peace. Blessed be, amen. There is no ocean that can't be parted. And it can't be moved I know there's help for the heavy hearted The weak will find their strength renewed You just gotta have faith mm, You just gotta have faith It's life for the shadow Pour all your tomorrow It's knowing he Some 
searching for purpose and know the waiting praying through so many silent hours finding a breath when you feel like fading learning the love where you are right now you just gotta have faith it's life for the shadow for all your tomorrows it's knowing he's there through the sun and the rain it's when you believe it before you can see it then you can walk on cause he's making a way just gotta have some Too bad.